Well, on YouTube, it's the Micro Garden, and <sighs> I can breathe without a mask. And actually, it smells really good in here. Uh, I let the the pepper spray all kind of die down a little bit, and I came in here with some cinnamon, and I put cinnamon over the, at all of the soil uh, because cinnamon actually is really water like retentive, so um, it doesn't it's it doesn't really soak up a lot of water. And so the gnats don't like to bury or go through it because it's really dry and it irritates their skin. So actually I put that down as a really cheap way to get the, the, the larvae out of the soil. And once they're out of the soil as flies, uh, they won't be able to lay eggs in any of the soil. So uh, it's gonna take a little bit, but I definitely have the situation under control. The plants all look so great very green, really responding very well um, to the fertilizer that I put in. And just a couple notables, um, the uh, cashew is doing amazing, and I'm gonna show that in an upcoming episode fairly soon. And also, I got a bunch of other sprouts, so uh, those that's new news, but I'm actually not going to do that today. That's for an update. Uh, this is actually a money tree, and there actually is a real thing called a money tree this is actually a really cute, unique present that my uh, cousin gave me, and she didn't know what to give me for Christmas, so she knew I liked gardening, and I, I had some crazy weird stuff on my Christmas list, like I was not a normal kid for Christmas, and I was like, ah, I'll have some potting soil, some pots and exotic plants, and a TV and a tiller. Uh, that was like basically everything on my on my Christmas list. So it's kind of hard for someone to find a great gift for someone that's really not a super normal teenager. I mean, I'm normal. I have a lot of other cool things, but I really didn't need that much. I was pretty happy with the way I was living. I wasn't too demanding of anything. So I just kind of was fine with whatever. And um, yeah, so uh, I just wanted to show this to you guys because I thought it was super cute. And uh, it's a money tree got a little pot of soil and everything. And it was really cute the way she did it. Uh, she actually hid it and then gave clues to go find it. And the whole family was just laughing their head off. I should have recorded it, but I didn't have my camera. And um, got some uh, leaf drop. <laughs> All right, and actually to the real episode now, the, the actual reason why I'm filming is because I got some uh, some mail in today, and uh, let me center myself for you here. Uh, this is actually from a website called Banana Tree Incorporated, and they're out of Pennsylvania. Really cool, great company. Got a lot of stuff. Pretty cool. Um, you know, I just I like endorsing companies that I think go an extra mile. And not only was the shipping time extremely prompt, but uh, their prices were hands down the best prices on seed I have ever seen, and that's not even an exaggeration. They are so dirt cheap for the most exotic seeds, and um, and I got uh, I got a fair amount here. So first of all, they wrap it in a plastic bag, and I'm just showing you the quality here because I think if you guys do want to, I always whenever I buy seeds or plants or anything, I put the company's link in the description box below so you guys can support them as well because I think supporting small businesses is so, so key because really it's getting hard for, for small businesses out there to make it nowadays with all the, the bigger business and competition out there. And so I, I like to go the extra mile as well and really help them out um, if at all possible. So the first thing they put it in is this bag for a little bit of insulation. Then what they do is they actually wrap it in this actually this like aluminum -y wrap stuff and that's pretty cool it's so it insulates it it's like a thermal blanket all right so then once you open it up here let's see what we got then they have it I'm sorry they have it more wrapping or uh, more newspaper for more insulation and padding and then comes the bag of goodies that they have supplied here. And again, I'm not getting paid to do any of these. I'm not being endorsed by them. 
Sorry about that, I didn't realize I was still zoomed in a little bit. That was probably annoying. Um, <laughs> uh, but like I said, I'm not endorsed by them. I'm not uh, at all getting paid to do this. I'm just I'm doing this because I like the company and I think it's worthy of it. So, after you get that little baggie off here, there's a ton of stuff. First one is really exciting. I've always wanted to grow this. And a lot of people have actually told me that I should be growing this. It's macadamia nuts, otherwise known as mac nuts. Very cool. I got three seeds. And I believe all of their seeds are around $1.25 to $1.50. There's a couple more that are at like $1.60, $1.70. But other than that, super, super cheap. Really, really affordable. And then I got 100 Chinese pistachio seeds. And this is actually the wild version of the pistachio that I'm growing. You'll still get pistachios, they'll still be edible, um, but it's a wild version. It's not as small and compact as the ones that you'd see on like a pistachio or a cashew farm. Or a pistachio farm, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they're they're more of a wild form that you'd find in a jungle, which is what this place is. Next is uh, a pygmy date palm. It's a pygmy because it's a dwarf, and I figured it was perfect for for the micro garden because it only gets to be about six to seven feet tall, and perfectly my ceilings are eight feet tall, so there's gonna be enough room for it. Next is uh, uh, dwarf pomegranates. Now I actually got these hoping that uh, these would have better germination than the ones that I ordered from that guy. But turns out, turns out I got one to germinate. Still I got my money back because that should never happen. That type of germination rate on a professional seller is just, that's terrible. Um, but I got one to sprout and so I'm just going to save these for backups, I guess, in case something happens, because these are dwarf pomegranates. Then what I got is a Panama hat palm. This is super, super cool. If you haven't seen any pictures of this, go on Google, type in Panama hat palm, as in hat, it's a palm, way cool, it's super awesome, and it the seeds are really tiny for being a palm, but very cool. And it's going to be just exotic. It's going to make this place an awesome jungle, kind of how I wanted it to be originally. It's got a lot of citrus stuff in it now, but we're going to make it really exotic with a whole lot of crazy cool stuff. Next is a thing called Carambola. I totally forgot what this is, but um, I'm sure I'll remember what it is once I look it up on Google. But I know I ordered it. I know it's an edible fruit. But other than that, not a clue. So Carambola. Next is <laughs> Bilimbi. And again, I don't remember what Bilimbi is, but um, I got seeds for it. And it, uh, yeah, it's, it's probably something from Africa. But it's an edible fruit, I remember that. Uh, next is Miracle Fruit. I got some Miracle Fruit seeds. And apparently these need to be planted right away because uh, they are already pre-germinating. And then next is actually a thing called a noni or a nani. And it apparently smells quite bad, but it grows like a, it almost looks like a little white strawberry. And it's super cool. It's very cute. It's just an exotic plant and a uh, and that um, it uh, needs to be uh, filed down. You need to nick the seed coating before planting. So I'm actually going to try a couple of the micro garden method, uh, as it's been dubbed by a couple other people, of nicking the seed coating. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually just gonna take some fingernail clippers and snip the end off, just like I've been doing. And by the way, uh, the sensitive plants. Another one of the hard seeds that I said I couldn't get to sprout, snipped the end off, within one day it sprouted. Crazy. 
I'm serious. It's an amazing method. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to put a link. I think you guys should seriously check it out if you haven't checked it out already. It's so helpful and it's actually worked 100% of the time. When I didn't think it would work, it's worked. Next is, uh, oh, this is something they gave me for free. Very cool. It's called Goltheria filirifolia. And I probably butchered that, but the seeds are extremely small. I don't even know what it is because I got it for free. I didn't know I was going to get anything, but thank you, I guess. Cool. So, Goltheria filirifolia. I'll put the name up here. There's no way I'd ever pronounce that correctly. Next is <laughs> Eugenia Victori Victorinia. I don't know what that is either. I ordered a lot of stuff, but I have no clue what they are. I just saw the picture. I'm like, ooh, that looks cool. And that's kind of how I order stuff most of the time. Sometimes that's how you find the funnest plants to grow. So this is, again, Eugenia Victorinia. Victorinia. Don't know what it is. And then uh, the last one is actually Snow Banana. Very cool, very fun, very unique. It's uh, actually grown, it's found in the uh, Himalayan mountains, and it uh, is said to be one of the most cold hardy bananas in the world. Also, it does fruit, and it is edible, and uh, these are apparently the, the best, the, the easiest to germinate. So they'll germinate in about two to three weeks, the site said. So I decided to get some snow bananas, and that is all of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to get this stuff planted up pronto uh, so I can get the stuff growing. All right, I will talk to you guys later, and hopefully you guys will stay tuned for more episodes, and hopefully you guys had a very Merry Christmas. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.